Welcome. I'm here to demonstrate how to provide transcutaneous pacing to a patient in extreme bradycardia and symptomatic. Transcutaneous pacing is a non-invasive procedure for pacing. First, we want to make sure the patient's skin is clean and dry. If there's excess hair, I will shave the hair off. This way, when I put the pacing pads on, it will make good contact. Next, I need to apply three, pace, three electrodes to the patient's chest. One goes to the right upper subclavian area, one to the left upper subclavian area, and one to the left of the chest wall, the metastinum. I then want to use my LifePak 20 is going to provide pacing function. This will be my pulse generator. I turn it on, select lead, push analyze. And here my patient is in extreme bradycardia. I want to now apply my gel pads, my pacing pads, to my patient's chest. I'm going to use the anterior apex approach. The other approach you can use is anterior posterior, one on the front and one on the back. The picture's on the pad, so it's simple to follow. I'm just going to peel the back port part off, apply it to the right upper chest. I don't want to cover anything that is metal or any cuts. The other piece gets put, pad gets put on the left lower, underneath the nipple line. I'm going to connect it to my pacing generator, and I'm going to select the pacer mode. I now want to dial in what rate I want it set at. I can choose from 30 to 180 pulses per minute. I'm going to select 80. I then want to dial in how much electricity I want to deliver to the chest wall in order to provide electricity to the heart to provide a contraction. And this is measured in milliamps. So I'm going to dial up until I see a spike followed by a QRS. So I start low and I continue to go up until I see capture. So here I have it. I have a spike followed by a QRS complex, which means my patient responded to the pulsing energy. I want to check a patient's, patient's pulse to make sure it's adequate, and that's my transcutaneous pacing.